but you have no idea because you're blaming it on other people because she went and flirted with another man. That's why I'm angry. Because somebody else caused this anger in you. You're not looking at yourself that you carry a lot of anger. You carry a lot of jealousy. You carry possessiveness because you want to possess. You want people, you want to own, own people. So you're starting to see that. Then you begin to also self-observe and see your mind. If you're lucky, as I was, I was very lucky, very, very lucky, extremely lucky. Extremely lucky to come across this teaching of being aware and becoming aware of the thoughts, the thinking pattern, the mind, which is all over the place, and becoming aware of my mind, becoming aware that I am not my thoughts. I can watch him from the outside. I am not the thoughts because I can observe them. If you can observe your thoughts, then you cannot be the thoughts. You have to be somewhere else. You have to be standing outside to be able to look at them. Because if you were your thoughts, you would have never known. Thoughts would be your only reality. You wouldn't be able to be aware of a busy mind. You wouldn't be able to come and say, my mind is driving me crazy. Because you would be the mind. It would be a one-dimensional reality. So, in this process, are you with me? Are you, are you getting this? Yeah? Okay, good. Great. So, in this self-awakening, which actually, on this coming weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's the self-awakening, self Awakening Mastery Workshop is all about this. It's all about the recognition of the awareness, becoming aware of itself. It's like there's you here and you are coming outside of yourself and you're mirroring yourself and you're just looking at yourself from the outside objectively for me to give you the tools to be able to do the same thing that I've done with myself to be able to look at yourself from the outside objectively not just with the bias and prejudice of looking at yourself and eh, brushing it off and pointing your finger at other people because other people are doing you wrong or they're screwed up or the government is screwed up or Trump is screwed up or Biden blah 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 or the US election is this or our economy sucks or um, no it's just it doesn't matter. They're, they're, who, who cares? I am the one who screwed up. I need to fix myself. 
instead of putting my attention on other people and trying to fix them or fix the system, I am the system. I'm the one who needs fixing, not anybody else. Because there is nobody else. Everybody else is an extension of myself. Everything else is an extension of me. That's what I'm saying. Awareness becomes aware of itself. Excuse me. The self-awakening mechanism is triggered. Awareness becomes aware of itself. And the process starts to happen. And you begin to get pulled it pulls you in. It sucks you inwards. And that's your lucky day. Because your attention from going in the outer world, it starts to get vacuumed in inwards. And you start to explore the inner world and the inner treasure and some of the almost immediate experiences or the goodies is that you start to feeling blissed out. Your depression starts to disappear. Your anxiety starts to disappear. Your fear starts to go away. You begin to recognize yourself. And you start to love yourself. You start to accept yourself and love yourself. Because you're starting to find it. You're touching it. You're dr drinking it like a juice. And then all of a sudden you begin to see that the quality of life, your life starts to change. And you don't care very much about what is going on in the other world. I'm not saying you're ignorant to it. I'm not saying like if people are dying around you or they're in suffering, you don't feel that. Of course you do because you're expanded. You're very become very sensitive as you already are. You're sensitive to noise. If it's disturbing noise, you're aware of it. If it's uh, people speaking too loud and they blah 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 they bother you if you go to a restaurant and it's too loud it bothers you because you're you're expanded you're conscious your consciousness you're aware you're not a stupor of course you have compassion for other human beings you would be a robot if you didn't when I say mind your own business, your attention comes to inner world. It doesn't mean like you're ignorant to the other world. It means you're starting to recognize something very, very valuable within yourself. And you start to see that the love that you've been looking for, the love that you came from before you were born, is really here inside. It's here right now, in this very moment. 